Hello, Kyle here. It's time to upgrade the firmware on my Nikon Z6 camera. I'm putting it from, I think, like 1.0 to 2.0. Uh, this is the big one that has the eye detect, which I'm not going to bother covering because lots of other people have covered that better than I would bother. So I'm going to be focusing on other aspects of the Z6 camera. First thing, I've got several third-party batteries. Uh, these two are older ones that don't work at all in the Z6, whereas this is a newer one and also a very cheap one, only $15, and it works just fine in the Z6. I'm curious if this one will still work and if these two will, you know, start working or if all of them will be blocked out, who knows. The Z6 does have USB-C charging, however that has to be from a line. You can't use one of these phone power packs. So I'm going to give it a test, see what happens. Now for lens compatibility, this is my Samyang 14mm 2.8 and this lens has some weird quirky problems with uh, exposure readings. Yeah, exposure is a little bit odd on this. The only way I've been able to get this lens to work is by putting some electrical tape over these contacts and treating it as a fully manual lens, um, you know, losing all the exposure. And this is my Tamron 15 to 30 millimeter 2.8. This is the generation one version of the lens. This lens has some weird, I don't really know how to describe it, but the focus has trouble locking. And sometimes if I try to autofocus too long and it doesn't catch, it just kicks out and goes into manual focus. So I'm curious to see if any of this will perform any better going forward. Other issues are, I've got these, uh, Yongnuo YN622 transceivers that work fantastic. And finally, this is a third-party power adapter. I'm curious if it will work in the camera after the update. So the user mode bug that I was talking about is active D lighting. You can get it normal, you can turn it off, you can get it H, you know, extra high just to help control the highlights. It works just fine in user menu one, but let's see if I go to user menu two. No, no matter what I set it to, it just stays turned off. How about user setting three? Same thing. Manual doesn't work here either. Full auto mode, let's try that. I've actually tried every mode when the camera wasn't recording beforehand, so uh, I know it doesn't work. So, I don't know. What's special about user mode one? Yeah, I would really like it if active D lighting could work consistently. That would make me happy. So I've got my Z6 with my uh, aperture light. This is my only LED light that can go all the way down to uh, 1%. And it can also go quite bright as well. Low light autofocus is supposed to have been improved greatly with this new firmware. I'm going to test it out by going into a dark room and just getting it as dark as I can and uh, seeing what kind of focusing I can make happen. So this is the room I'm going to be filming my lighting test in. Uh, there's a little bit of light creeping through the window. This is ISO 51200 f4 1 25th of a second. So it's not able to land focus with this light. Let's try 1%. Well, let's just start at 1%. Seems to have no trouble at all. Of course, XQD card readers are uh, rare and hard to find and very expensive, mostly uh, between $80 and $100. Fortunately, I was able to find a store that was having a clearance sale, so I got one delivered for uh, 30 bucks. Update completed. Turn camera off. Yay! Okay, I'll try to make this pretty quick. Uh, after the upgrade, everything is more or less as it was before. So my batteries that didn't work before the upgrade still don't work. Batteries that did work before the upgrade still work, as did the cheap third-party knockoff power supply. My uh, Yongnuo, which are a cheap third-party transceivers and flashes, they still work just as well as before, including manual and TTL modes. No improvements with third-party lenses. The 
Aperture on my Samyang 14mm 2.8 is still jumpy as hell, and the Tamron 15 to 30, it's still the focus is twitchy as hell. It just keeps going forward and back, forward and back. For a low light focus, before the upgrade, I found that the Z6 was more or less matched with my own focus abilities. It would lose its ability to focus in light that was so low that the gain on the view screen got so noisy that the image got so soft that I couldn't reliably manually focus. So the camera is now able to lock focus on things that I can't even see when it's so dark, so that's a nice improvement. With my old camera, every time I did a firmware upgrade, all of my custom settings would disappear. I was really surprised to see with the Z6 that after upgrading the firmware, all of my presets for the three user modes were still intact. They were still there. I didn't have to go reprogram everything, so that, that was really nice. I'm a little disappointed that that active D lighting and video mode bug is still a thing. I was really hoping that by now it would just work in every setting, um, but who knows what's going on with that. Hopefully that'll get addressed in the next bug fix.